Hi, my name is Mark Renz with the University of Wisconsin Extension. I'm here today to talk to you about how to identify Japanese hop, an invasive plant uh, that we find new to Wisconsin. Uh, this plant is common to the south of us. It is an annual vine that has male and female flowers. Um, so it is dioecious. This plant is relatively easy to distinguish and really the only other plant that we often get confused with is common hops which we make beer from and I'll lead you through some key characteristics on how to differentiate between the two. We typically find this plant invading full sun environments although it can establish and start to grow in partial sun it will eventually grow into full sun and overtop and canopy and climb on other plants. The easy way to distinguish it from common hops is to first look at the leaf here. First off, we notice that the leaf is lobed and has at least five lobes, if not more, is a really good differentiating characteristic because common hops typically has three to no lobes. The second way to differentiate it from common hops is to look at the petiole here, where the petiole with Japanese hops is as long or longer than the leaf, whereas with common hops it is quite a bit shorter. Looking at the stems and at the base of the leaf, we'll have some very small, stiff hairs that point downward. That can also be a key characteristic, although many uh, common hops will have that trait. The flowers, if we look at them here, are quite small and indistinguishable. Again, male and female flowers. Um, they do tend to be rather small and will eventually, the female plants will eventually have a hop-like looking uh, fruit, but it is not odorous unlike the common hop. Uh, finally, looking at the way this plant twines or moves uh, and creeps up plants, we see it will, it will wrap around plants in a counterclockwise orientation, another good characteristic. So again, if you think you have Japanese hops, we want to look for a plant that has a leaf that's lobed five or more times. We also want to look and see if that petiole is longer or as long as that leaf and looking for some sharp spines uh, that point downward as well as a counterclockwise wrapping around the plants is another good characteristic. That's it. Good luck and happy weeding.